everyone. It's Tuesday, January the 3rd, 2023. I'm Doug. It's time to play some Wordle. Uh, MSL758 writes, please try dough, Doug. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, I see where you're going there. Cool. Let's give dough a uh, twirl, I guess. Like we're making a pizza. Dough. Dough, as Homer Simpson would say, uh, as dough gives us the proverbial goose egg to start us off, which is okay. I get it. Uh, it was still a fun opening word. All right, so let's go ahead and try a fresh eval. Uh, let's try the word stare uh, for five great unique letters. Stare gets us uh, a T and an A, out of position. All right, so the plot thickens a bit. Uh, where we go with that, I feel like I'm going to try another evaluation word here. Uh, we have I, we have Y. Um, let's see, we could try. Uh, you know, we could try. Uh, well, that won't get the I. I was going to say lucky, uh, four unique letters, but I really feel like I want that I. So, oh, what I can do, a couple of options. Uh, I saw a blimp, but I also see blink, and I feel like the N is way more important uh, than the P here. So we're going to go with blink for eval. That'll get us at least the other vowel examined. Uh, so what does blink get us here? Uh, well, blink gets us an I, so we have T-A-I-N, all out of position. So now we have like a, a partial unscramble exercise here. Okay. Um, hmm. What will make sense here? I was about to think uh, of the word satin. Of course, we've checked the S. So it's not satin. Um, and I don't think there's anything else that would be A-T-I-N here, uh, unless I'm missing something. And I don't think I am. So that's not the way to go with this. Uh, I suppose we could look at the T in the front and see if anything makes sense there. Um, T A. Uh, T-A, yeah, but now when we go with T-A, I don't think there's T-A blank I-N. I don't think there's T-A-N-I. I don't think there's T-A, T-A and blank I. So I'm falling out of love with T-A. Uh, if we go with I, so then a similar thing. I'm not seeing any great N-A combinations here. So I'm falling out of love with T in the beginning now. Let's look at N, uh, N-A. And then we have to figure out where to put the T and the I. Uh, that's not, I gotta be honest with you, that's not working either for me. Hmm. So now I'm a little confused. Uh, it could be one of those cases. I struggle sometimes when a vowel is the first letter. I will tell you that. Uh, we haven't, no, no, we tested the R. I was gonna say intra. Uh, so that won't be it. Um, Hmm, let me just see here. Intra. If I did it for eval, it would get me a lot of position information. Hmm. Oh, tr no, train. <laughs> Obviously, it's not train because we tested the A in the middle. Uh, uh, hmm. And the R. So I'm, I'm, I guess the way I'm looking at this is do I do this to try and get some green letters in one of the four? Um, no, I only have one, uh, two guesses left, so it's a little bit, a uh, little bit uh, risky. But I feel like that's where we're at here. We need some green. So with a little bit of trepidation, I'm going to go with intro here for Intel. Oh, we got the N and the T locked in. Okay, all right, we'll take it. Now, now I think this this could crack the case. Because uh, we have two vowels that are, well, one vowel potentially in front. So A-N-T. And then we have to figure out um, uh, if the I is in the fourth spot. I don't see the, I can't see any world where the I is at the end. So we have A-N-T-I. Uh, could it be antic? A-N-T-I-C? I mean, it's a little bit, a little bit nerve-wracking here, right? Not gonna lie, because uh, if the A is in the front, we'll only have one guess left. I want to at least light the A. Of course, of course, the other side of that coin is if I'm wrong, we we know the A is in the fourth spot anyway. Uh, so you know what? I, but the more I think about it, 
antic is the only thing that really makes any sense here. So I think I'm in a good spot. I'm pretty confident. Okay, so uh, here we go, folks. You know the drill is the answer to today's puzzle. The word antic. Yes, it is. All right. <laughs> well, that was a little tricky, despite having uh, a lot of those letters lit up and out of position. Uh, a little bit, little bit nervous there, but we got through it. And that's the joy of this game. Sometimes they're easy, sometimes they're tricky. Well, folks, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for some more Wordle.